In our last video, we looked at how we could create a library and actually use that within some of our scripts. Uh, now that we've done that, we actually wanna we want to see how we might actually change that to have additional functionality or use additional functionality. So let's go into our car where we built this originally. And let's say we have a turn left, we have a turn right. Let's say we want to add something here. Let's say we want to have, instead of a git position, we want to have a uh, this dot git direction. Well, this actually might be useful. We might want to know what the direction is, so we return uh, this dot direction. And that's actually pretty simple, but now we've actually created a, a capability that we don't have. So if we were to come back to our original uh, file here and create a function called get direction range, and we were to say var my, just do the exact same thing here. We'll just go ahead and do the exact same thing, except for the last line. Uh, we'll go ahead and copy everything and we'll paste everything down here. Instead of the last line, we'll we use get direction instead. Well, this is actually not going to quite work because if we call this get direction and we pass in all of these values, it's going to say, well, that, that's not a thing. Can't find this function get direction in the object. Um, and that's because even though this exists over here, we haven't actually published a new version. So one of the things that we need to do when we're actually building new code is we need to publish this as a new version. Uh, the first version is what we're working off of here. And if we go into our libraries, you'll see we have uh, this this original version one. Uh, if we come back into this this file and we go into manage versions, you can see the only thing we actually have is, is this version one. But we can actually add to this. We can change. So we said uh, added, we'll just say added a get direction method to allow users to see the direction. And we save that new version. Now we have this new version, we hit OK, and we can come back into our original file and we can use resources, libraries, we just change that version. So this way it prevents us if something changes in the original code, we don't have to worry about how that's actually affecting things. You know, we can actually just work off of a particular version. Now when we get this, we should see this, uh, we should see the git direction actually manipulate properly. If we were to say right here and right here again, we can see how that's actually changing the this value. We're seeing that this is now down, or if this was to be left, we can see how that was going to go back up to up. So pretty easy to now move forward with our code and add more capability. As long as we add a new version and we identify that we're using that new version, uh, it gives us the capability to kind of move forward with our code effectively. So hopefully this will allow you to expand what you're doing a little bit better. And uh, I, I hope that, you know, this is actually giving you more tools to use in your app script code. Thanks for watching.